Let's open the piggy bank at level 9 in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wife Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 if you like this video. Let me remind you that I had published some months ago a video showing the opening of the piggy bank at level 4, 5 and 6 and then another video showing the opening of the piggy bank at level 7 and 8. So if you are curious and want to know what they contain, you can have a look at those two videos as well on Gameplay365. Now let me explain again the way the piggy bank works in Tennis Clash. The piggy bank is a limited time feature that will allow you to open bags to get prizes. Whenever you open bags, you will receive points that will fill up your piggy bank. Once the piggy bank is full, you can open it to claim gold, gems, cards and strings. But the strings are proposing a certain level only. A grand back will give you one point, an elite back will give you five points, a king back will give you ten points. And I don't know how many blue classic bags count for one point because I didn't pay attention to them, but I guess it's uh, three classic bags because you spend roughly the same time to open three classic bags than one grand bag. So at 100 points, that means 100%, the piggy bank is full and you can open it. And the piggy bank offers max rewards when it's 100% full, but you can also open it when it reaches 50%. You will get less rewards if you open it, open it before it's completely full. And keep in mind that once you fill 100% of the piggy bank, you have 24 hours to open it before it expires. So don't forget to open it if you think it's worth the opening. Alright, well, as you can see, I had some very bad start with those antioxidant cards. Uh, same thing with the Macau and the weightlifting cards that I have already maxed out. I was hoping to get some Zeus or Tactical Grip cards, but I'm not looking here. Same thing for the rare cards. The increased hydration, endurance card, and these samurai cards are useless because I have already maxed out. I was hoping to get some Anvil cards, but it's hard luck. Now, for the AP cards, 10 useless Piranha cards. I never use this one, but luck again. Let's see the character card. Great, at least something's interesting. Those 7 Kaito cards will relieve a bit the pain for not having any interesting common, rare or epic cards. Those 7 character cards are worth um, 3640 gems. Here comes the Punisher God and the Siberian Wire as promised. So buying a package of 55 uh, Siberian Wire or 55 Punisher Gut in the store will cost me 7,150 gems, which means 130 gems per string. So those 100 strings represent 13,000 gems. I spent 100, a bit more than 100,000 gems to open the piggy bank at level 9 and receive um, 85,000 gems back besides scars and strings. So that is like I had about those 7 Kaito cards plus um, 100 special strings for uh, 50,000 gems. Honestly, I would have preferred not to have those uh, special strings that have become useless after the big update of 7th of May 2020. And I would have preferred to obtain a better common or rare card or epic cards. Of course, if I open this piggy bank, well, I have to accept the random cards distribution and the fact that I pay for those uh, 100 strings. I as I'm assuming the choice totally it is not a problem, it's just hard luck here. This piggy bank opening is a gamble game anyway. So um, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, sometimes you get very interesting cards, like it was the case for me during the opening at uh, level 7. Sometimes you get useless cards, like it was the case for me during the opening of the uh, piggy bank at level 8 and level 9. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me open the full piggy bank at level 9 in Tennis Clash. A sports game published by Wi-Fi Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon in Gameplay365. Bye bye.